the Internet of Things is getting objects of different types talking to each other over the Internet and getting data and insights into that from which we can start to look at transformative ways to run businesses and different business models. There's more endpoints in lighting than in anything else and in buildings. So why are we not taking the biggest portion of that pie? We should be doing that. So the ability to sense means we can collect data on anything we can see with that light fitting. And you're looking at the ability to track motion, track the direction of motion, where people shop the most, um, and also the, the ability to try, you know, reduce the number of people you deal with. So 96% of companies, according to PSFX, are going to be using the IoT in some way within the next three years. Whether you know you're using it or not is another matter, and whether it's actually providing you any value, again, is another matter. 10 million lights will produce more data than Twitter does every day. A sensible lighting design um, can reduce your energy costs anyway. So something like Nest is just an automated way of doing what uh, any thinking electrical engineer does uh, anyway. You know, when we're looking at the lighting industry and what we can do, doing automated or control or improvement in dimming of the actual fitting is the biggest way we can save energy. So we're now going to have to take account of the power in the data center that's going to be consumed <laughs> with all this uh, storing over the data. The three groups of people we're worried about, first of all, the hackers, they're, they're like honeypots. The, the hackers want to get in there, just for fun, some, very often, just simply to play around. The second group we're interested in are journalists, because getting into a home and switching the lights on and off or um, immobilizing a car makes wonderful column inches. There, there's no news like bad news. And the third group is government because the minute they know the public are concerned, there's going to be legislation. And a lot of it will be misdirected and misunderstood because people are looking for votes. I think the difference here is the collection of data. There, of course, will then become the argument as to who owns the data and what's going to be done with it. Why is it going to be worth my while to go into a supermarket where they will follow everything I do and listen to everything I say. We would never be getting into the, to the area of giving someone else's data away. Facebook and Google, you know, they know that, but they make you sign it away as soon as you sign up for their, their product. Shopping centres are already tracking you around. So assuming you shop, you might not, but uh, they're already tracking you around the shopping centres already. Tesco have got all your details um, and uh, there's, uh, there's stuff off your mobile phone being collected as well.